Really? So you mean... You mean you have a date with him? Well, I really don't think I would quite call it a date. We're not in love or a couple or moving towards anything like that. Well, tell me, do you have any feelings about him either way, Kanade? To be honest, I'm really not sure yet. I've been worrying myself sick thinking about it this whole time. But I finally calmed down and stopped. I decided I should move forward for the time being. And then he asked if I'd like to go hang out together sometime. <laughs> oh, that's amazing! Congratulations! So now you might find someone to fall in love with too, isn't that right? Your data will help our research on favorable feeling. Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. There, there. I'll keep petting you. You know, I wouldn't mind observing your next get-together from a distance. But that would be much too much of an intrusion on your date. And I want you to have fun without worrying I'm watching. Oh, maybe you could keep a record of your movements and then later on... No, that would put too much responsibility and pressure on you. <laughs> oh, I don't think you're gonna quit. You can come. Really, Kanade? But don't hide. It would be better if you brought Yukimura and we made a double date out of it. Are you sure? Won't that be too distracting for you? Well, my idea is that we're not actually on a double date. You two quietly follow us. Go to the same place as we go and do the same things we do. I'm sure you'll have fun. I like that idea. I heard your proposal. Hmm? On this double date, we will use my new standard unit of favorable feeling. And discover Kanade's love power. Huh? Tell me, Kanade, do you know the definition of a one-meter unit? It's, uh, it's about three times the length of this. Isn't that right? Yes. But still, don't you ever wonder how the world decided on that length? It all happened back in 1790 in France. They decided it would be one ten millionth of the distance between the North Pole and the equator. In 1889, physical standard meters were created as the basis for a one-meter measurement. However, their tools were affected by temperature, which caused measurement problems. So this is our current definition. It's the distance traveled by light in a vacuum in 1 299,792,458 of a second. It was defined using the speed of light in a vacuum, which is a constant and does not change. That's kind of an amazing story. Units like the standard meter change according to the times they're measured in. It's a measurement which the whole world simply decides upon for convenience. One day in the future, something completely unexpected could have a unit of measurement assigned to it. Whenever I see his face, my heart races. I come to him every day like this with questions. And I'm so lonely on the weekends because I can't be with him. The feelings I have for him, could they be turned into units and measured too? When we think of this example from a story of Kanade's high school years, we reveal all the parameters we need in order to calculate. One unit of Kanade love power. Ah! Outside of our formula, we'll abbreviate the unit as Kanade love. Just how did my name become the base reference? And I don't remember telling you about that high school story. You told me that story one night when we were drinking. What did I do? 
To create a unit of measurement for human favor and affection, we wanted something that was both normal for us and easy to visualize. You happen to be the most conventional person in this lab. Your parameters lean towards those of other people better. I can't refuse that. Hold on. By missing Ika, after three hours, my feelings equal... 16 Kanade loves? That is exactly right! There's no need for you to join in too, Kosuke! My heart races three times out of five when looking at her face. So the frequency of face-induced palpitations I have is 0.6 Kanade loves. And if we want, every parameter can be expressed through a number of Kanades. And formulating a more detailed definition allows us to express love through numbers. Oh, wow. Every love in the world can be expressed through Kanade love! Yes, the world is filled to the brim with Kanade love! You should think a little bit harder about how you phrase things. Sorry about them, Kanade, but you know there's a chance this unit of measurement might become the key to our romance research. What? We're just starting work in this new research. I'd be so pleased if you decided to help us, Kanade. Himuro looks so happy right now, which makes total sense. She's happy to be doing research with Yukimura again. Oh, I want to help her. I don't want to be the one who throws a wet blanket over everyone's fun. Please, Kanade, you have to join us for the sake of Kanade love. If I help out, this Kanade love thing has got to go. Please help us with Kanade love. Kanade love is great. Kanade love. Ah! Please just let me think about it a little. What like Kanade love? What's wrong, Kanade love? Come back, Kanade love. Where are you going, Kanade love? Kanade love. Uh, uh... Huh! Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, were you waiting a long time? No, it's fine. I just got here myself. But this exchange sort of feels like we're on a date. Yeah, I guess you're right. I bet most dates start this way. Yes, this must be how normal people go on dates. Well, I guarantee there won't be anything normal about the couple following us. Fact! This point measures within three meters of the fountain where we were supposed to meet. At ten o'clock, zero minutes, and zero seconds, your feet were not within this radius! Even if that were true, which it is not, the speed of your measuring reflex is slow! Being 0.31 seconds late is within the margin of error! Unacceptable! It shortens our overall time together! Why did I have to suggest a double date? Hey, Kanade. Yes? I want to thank you for coming out here today. I was expecting you to definitely say no. So I'm glad you're here. And by the way, your outfit is super cute. Oh, I'm glad you think so. I tried to dress up a little bit. Himuro, the way you're dressed today, the complimentary color scheme sets you off very well. Oh, I appreciate that. C D B E D D and F O E 3 E A do look nice together. The colors around D9 B O C O are effective as well. Why are they speaking in hexadecimals? It looks like there's lots of couples here today. Yes, there are. Today, Sui, you are even more lovely than usual. Like a gentle breeze blowing across the wheat fields of Cornwall. Thank you, Chris. You're like a cute little chihuahua yourself today. Why am I always compared to a small breed? Oh, Aika, you're shining brighter than ever today. Thank you, Kosuke. I can see that you got dressed up for me. It's not like I did it for you, Kosuke. Excuse me, but I have to go visit the restroom for a moment. Am I crazy? Or are a lot of people I know from campus here today, too? A sound conclusion. Exactly what type of research are you doing? A chain-style antipodal experiment. In an antipodal experiment, if someone, for example, wants to produce a difference in heart rate during a wall slam, you want every other variable to remain constant. However, in romantic experiments, that's very difficult. When various couples go on dates, they will never experience the same conditions as each other, which is why the double date you proposed is a good idea. It makes it easier to assemble similar conditions. However, in our research, we need to compare as much data as we possibly can. So we found 10 couples on campus who agreed to volunteer as participants in the experiment. 10 couples? 10 couples follow, with Kanade's couple leading the way. And each couple will do the same thing the pair in front of them did. This way, no one will interfere with your primary date. Okay, now I understand. All of these couples are involved. Well, we're here at the meeting place, but what is it we're actually supposed to do? We're supposed to follow the couple in front of us and have fun in the same place as they go to. What a weird experiment. The only reason I'm doing this in the first place is because they said they'd pay us. But if this boring experiment gives people the wrong idea about me, I'm so out of here. Oh boy, Kami is angry. Being on a date experiment with a guy like me won't be any fun for a girl like her. 
I better try my best not to give Kamiya any more reasons to be <sighs> angry. Have fun, Kanade. You don't have to worry about a thing except enjoying your date today. All you need to know is that ten couples will follow you and do as you do. But that's what worries me! Go! You need to hurry back and continue your date. We're getting backed up! Fine! At least I know what's going on! Uh... Hey, welcome back. I am so sorry that I kept you waiting again. <sighs> it's okay. Are you alright? Seems like you really tired yourself out. Oh, I'm completely fine. Let's go somewhere else. <sighs> that sounds great. I'm done worrying. Right now, I just want to focus on my date. He told me that he wants to go out with me. He's been looking forward to it. I don't want to disappoint him. So I need to just have a normal date where he has a good time. Uh, I can't decide. Maybe I can help, Shiki Joe. Do you have a favorite color? Probably red. But red colors tend to give a bold impression, so I stay away. I think something a little bold would look good on you. Why don't you try that one on? Sure, thanks for helping me decide. So, which do you think looks better? Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Hurry up and decide already! What's taking you so long? I'm, I'm sorry. You know what? I could honestly care less about your opinion. I liked this one, but I was looking for a little push from you to help me decide. Well, then you didn't really need to ask me, did you? Well, if I didn't, there'd be no point in shopping together. How in the world did I upset her again? I can't do anything right. Hurry up and start Even in our classes, all I ever do is make Kamiya angry. But she never gives up on me. Even though I'm like this, she keeps scolding me, so I learn. Kamiya is so unbelievably kind. gives up on me, okay, even though I'm like this. He doesn't leave. What's Are there wrong? any limits to his kindness? Nothing wrong, okay? I think I'll just slip this little number on right here. No, go inside the fitting room first! I suppose I have no choice. Huh? Coming with? Why are you dragging me inside? <laughs> Suit yourself. You can wait out there. Hmm? Well, something like this would look great on you, Aika. Lately, she's been treating me less like I'm her boyfriend, and more like I'm her pet dog. <gasps> Could it be that she doesn't see me as someone of the opposite sex anymore? At this rate, Sui will abandon me! I must remain the kind of cool guy that made Sui's heart race when she first met me! Sorry it took so long. <laughs> Worth the wait. That looks very nice. Whoa! She's gorgeous! You're as lovely as the ripe corn in Cornwall. Now that I have a closer look, you look lovelier than ever. Are you sure you can see me now? <laughs> Come on, Chris. Really look at me. I am looking. In fact, you're all I can see. <sighs> Just as we thought, fluctuations in heart rates and emotional encounters have begun. It appears that the awareness of romance in each subject is increasing. I believe that by having several couples in the same location at once, the interaction between the couples has caused a greater amount of flirting between them. Cluster love synchronization has been initiated. I'm starting to feel strange, Yukimura. My body temperature is starting to rise significantly. Don't get pulled into the love synchronization, Himuro. We must remain rational and analyze the situation clearly. Yukimura, your face is bright red too. I hear people saying really stupid stuff behind me, but I'm going to ignore it. Turns out it was too bold for me after all. Aww. Well, I thought it looked really good on you. Where do you think we should go next? Let me think about it. Huh? Oh. Oops, I'm so sorry. No, I'm the one who should apologize. That voice! Hold on. Could it be you? Kanade. Hi. Mr. Takahashi, what a surprise. Did something happen? Was there an accident? Uh -huh. I wonder if she's okay. <gasps> Looks like that girl isn't normal. Are they a couple? Science types. <laughs> Are you all right, Kanade? It's been quite a while. I'm glad to see you looking so well these days. Um, I... I shouldn't be interrupting your date. It was good seeing you. 
Apparently, you two know each other. Uh, huh? Uh, Wait a minute. Kanade! Her old teacher, Takahashi? Looks like he can still fluster her. <laughs> Kanade! Did something happen between you and that man? It's nothing. I'm sorry I made such a fuss. He was an old teacher of mine who helped me a lot in high school. It's been such a long time, it just shocked me a little bit. I'm glad. That's all it was? Let's go someplace else fun. Look at Kanade. She started behaving strangely since their encounter. Do you think she's all right? We should continue the date. I wonder if I'm acting like a normal person. A normal person on a normal date. Just like the normal couples all around us. So that, no matter who looks at us, they won't think I'm odd. Be normal. Act normal. I just wish I knew what normal was. What do I have to do to finally be like everyone else? Psychological studies talk about crowd psychology. The fireflies of Southeast Asia all light up at the same time in a single tree. In the natural world, the number of instances where groups act together is incredibly high, and humans are no different. When humans are in groups, they tend to follow the decisions of the majority, no matter how foolish that decision may seem. According to social psychologist Gustav Le Bon, in a group, individual characteristics vanish, and it's easier for people to take impulsive and violent actions they normally never would. A person may be rational and wise, but those traits will be nullified within a crowd, and they will be swallowed up by it. I love you, Yukimura! <laughs> Control yourself, Imuro! Give me some Yukimura elements, please! Will you get a grip? <laughs> One of the conditions is for us to be alone when that happens! For Himuro to lose herself to crowd psychology is bad. Her chest, her breasts... Calm down. First, let's deal with Himuro's breasts. Move her firm breasts out of the way, and then those firm breasts will somehow... No! I can't think because of her breasts! Be rational, Himuro! Take those breasty breasts and please press something about Stop it! Stop going on about breasts already! Uh. <laughs> Yukimura, I love you! No, I think you're just pretending to be caught up in crowd psychology, aren't you? Wait! Himuro! So when this many couples are together, the atmosphere becomes romantic. Which is bad for me. If Sui stays in a place like this, the private Sui will awaken! Say, Chris, am I imagining, or have you been acting distant to me all day long? Is there something I should know? Uh, I... that's... Yukimura told us about it, remember? That we're at the attachment stage where romantic love fades. Ever since he said that, I've been wondering if maybe you are getting tired of me. It's... it's not true, is it? <laughs> I'm such an idiot! Getting hung up on my stupid male pride! I'm sorry. I was scared of losing you, Sui. I just wanted to show you the good side of me. I was a fool. Allow me to vow once more. I swear on the composition of my genomes. I will forever love only you, my lovely Sui. I'll be your Chihuahua, your Pomeranian, or your Yorkshire Terrier if that's what you want. <laughs> Those are all small breeds. If you keep talking to me like that, I won't be able to hold myself back. <laughs> oh, hold on, something's up with this atmosphere. There's flirting and cuddling going on everywhere. And there are too many guys yelling about press. What do I do? I mean, Taniguchi is a guy, after all. If he gets caught up in all this and turns into a beast. This night view is amazing. Huh, Kamiya? I'm not exactly sure what you're angry about. Who cares, you idiot? Uh, oh no, I went and snapped for no reason again. Really, all I ever do is get angry. This must be the worst date he's ever been on. Hey, Kamiya, I got you something. Here. Huh? It's uh, a thank you present. I'm always relying on you to help me, so thanks. <sighs> and thank you for today, too. 
for going on a date with someone like me in the first place. I really had a whole lot of fun today. Oh, all I did was get angry at you. He's saying that a date with someone like me was fun? This is from the shop we went to today. Yeah, when you were holding it before, you had tears in your eyes. So I thought maybe you were crying because you didn't have enough money. That's not <laughs> why! Just how pathetic do you think I am anyway? What? I'm sorry. Honestly, how do you consistently keep missing the mark? You manage to do the exact thing to make me angry every single time! <sighs> Stop it already! I want to apologize! I want to thank you, but you just keep... You keep making me angry, but I don't know what I'm angry at! <sighs> Come shopping with me again, so you can buy it properly next time. Uh, okay, I will. <sighs> <sighs> Kanadei, thanks a lot for today. For coming out with me and everything. No, thank you. I hope that, and maybe I'm just imagining this, but I hope that I didn't do anything wrong. Huh? You seemed pretty upset before, like you were worried about the people around us. You sort of didn't seem normal. Uh, uh, I hope I didn't ask too much of you today. If I did, I'm sorry. No, it's <clears throat> not that. It's my fault. Maybe I wasn't quite feeling myself today. I should probably just go home and rest. I understand. Sorry you're not feeling well. It's not your fault, Shiki Joe. It's my problem to deal with. Let's meet up again sometime and just hang out. Cool. I'll text you sometime soon. Next time, Proof 8. Science types fell in love, so they tried confessing their feelings to their juniors. <laughs> 